Dane Skagg is pretty cool. He was a pioneer in the lawn care industry. He founded Skagg Power Equipment in 1983, introducing groundbreaking products like three-wheel mowing tractor and dual-drive hydro walk mower. After selling Skag to Metalcraft in 1991, he established the Great Dane Power Equipment in 1996, developed the revolutionary server stand-on mower, which popularized this mower type. Uh, he sold Great Dane to John Deere in 2001, and his career was had numerous innovations, uh, with two dozen, over two dozen patents to his name. He uh, contributions were more than mowers. He previously worked on high-energy X-ray machines and was off offered positions at uh, Princeton University and uh, Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. A big time pilot, uh, he often flew to demonstrations, uh, demonstrated his mowers to customers. He's got quite a legacy in the lawn care industry. His uh, continuous innovations, creating mul multiple successful brands, uh, really reshaped commercial mowing. Great Dane, Dane Skag, pretty interesting man. Uh, how the uh, this uh, Dane, his, his name is Dane Skag, um, was an innovator in uh, lawn power equipment. And so, anyways, uh, enjoy the video. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you're into this stuff. And uh, maybe you'll catch a few tips here and there. Okay, one thing I did notice here. Before I get going, taking this head off, which needs to be done, is uh, these intake manifold bolts are both loose. They're not even like, they're just totally off and loose. That's going to cause this thing to lose, uh, suck a lot of air, and not work efficiently at all. But anyway, the exhaust valve, regardless, is leaking, and it needs to be addressed. So we're going to get on that and start... Uh, correcting that right now. So I'm just going to take the heads off, <clears throat> the head off first, the valve cover right here. It's just 10 millimeter fits on there. All right. Okay. What I like to do is, that should be it. Yeah, they're both loose. So now we can start taking that apart. We've got a bolt right here. I don't know what size it is yet. Probably going to have to take this uh, chunk of shroud off of the side here. And usually, yeah, there's a little, little screw up underneath this shroud here. This shouldn't be too terrible, actually. This is probably going to have to come off because i got another bolt that's uh, attached to the side of the head right here. And we'll get to that here in a second. Yeah, just to get access to that. And, okay, we already got these off. It's almost like somebody's already been messing with this. And I'll have to uh, take these bolts off of the uh, bottom of the exhaust port. Hopefully I can just take, if it's got studs in it, which it seems like it does. So it's just nut with studs coming out. We'll see probably have to take both sides off so that kind of sucks but I try to take minimal things off of the, uh, the machine that, that I have to when I'm doing this stuff and uh, we'll carry on okay okay so this little intake uh, air cleaner assembly here has got to just come off Get these two. A lot of stuff's 10 mil, so that's good. Okay, I just dropped that down there somewhere. Okay, that's on the deck. It's right underneath here. Okay, put this stuff all down here. And now I have access to this bolt right here. And this one that's connected to the head, so we'll get these off. I'm just going to put these right on back in to the same holes that they came out of. Once I get the head off, I'll just leave this oriented. These little bolts right here, they're the same ones, so it should be pretty easy. And then we're working on 
There's a bolt right up here for the head. There's probably one behind here. So I gotta take this plate off. And then I'm gonna get to the situation under there with the uh, exhaust at the exhaust port. So I gotta take these off. All right, so we got this bracket here for the exhaust pipe or the muffler mount. That just broke off. So that sucks. That stud busted off in there. Not good. Okay, so I'm going to take this little shroud piece off. If I have to, it looks like I do. And it's nice that there's nothing right here. Sometimes there's a gas tank and stuff right over here or a battery case, but there's a 10 mil. And I got a hold of right here. Man, it's tight. It's holding that little shroud piece in place. And it feels like that just busted off too. Oh my god, that just that just broke off. Jesus. God. Yeah. And this thing, you know, no wonder it overheated and stuff. The fins of this thing are just filled. Like these uh all these fins right over here. It just collected inside of this thing, and now there's just a bunch of dirt and debris on these fins. It's probably what's making this thing overheat, causing the valve guide to stick and stuff. But I'm just getting a little bit of it to show you. Okay, that stuff was in there more of it and more of it there's quite a bit of it even more so that was down in the fins we'll blow that out real good make sure all that stuff's out of there but so we got head bolt head bolt head bolt head bolt and that's about it then we'll get on the bottom here and see what size these nuts are for the exhaust pipe mount. So what I'll do first is I'm just gonna get a wrench on these without the impact. I mean, even, even taking this little 10, 10 mil off here, just snapped right off man that just sucks okay but there is another place where that where this air duct basically mounts when the shroud goes on bolt goes through there to hold the shroud on and that air duct so that'll be all that's holding that in place from now on since I just busted that off okay so we got a 12 here I'm just gonna get a wrench on this real quick hope not to break these off Brush your fingers. I will cross my fingers in my mind. Okay, here we go. Okay, that one's loose. Feels good. That one's just, it, it was already loose. It's almost. Felt like it was just kind of hand tight. So we get one here. So we got one, two, three, four. Looks like that might be it. Another one down there? Yeah, five. It's another one right. So one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we get to this one. And I'm just gonna loosen these up and then I'll work on getting this exhaust off of the bottom. Okay, so we get right down in here. That was fairly loose. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to see what size this is. Could be another 12. Ain't a whole lot of room. It is 12. I'm just going to grab a wrench for that. Ratchet wrench. 
Okay. So I got this first. Yeah, ratchet wrenches isn't even going to fit. <clears throat> okay, fortunately, I mean, they're not very tight. It's just going to take some work to get them off. Two of these feels like nuts. Hopefully they're bolts. Oh, they might be bolts. That would be even better. So I have to worry about getting up over the studs, getting this this bracket here up off the studs. All right, and I might not have to take the other side off. Let's see what this is. Yeah, they're bolts. That's great. And sometimes these are Allen head bolts holding these mufflers in, but these are, no, it's a freaking stud coming out of there. Okay. So it's actually a nut and a washer. Okay. And this one's going to be a real pain to get to. I think I'm going to go with a quarter inch drive and socket so I can reach down in there and get it. Okay, hoping that uh, I can get this little one in here because there's not much clearance. So get up underneath here and okay, I'm on it. Got it. It's not a lot of room to work. Now I'm going to see if I can just pull this head off. Without having to... Uh, take this whole bracket and the other side of the muffler off. I might get away with, might be able to get away with just loosening in that on the other side, just loosen it up a lot so it falls down away from the head over here. It's pretty loose now and it's coming. Washer and a nut for the exhaust. Yeah, once I get that loose in, okay, I'll probably be able to pull this head off up and away. So let's see if that works. Get these head bolts out. Are they going to be the same length or not? We'll see. Keep an eye on that. Guess we'll try to put them back in the same holes that they came from. Okay, so far it looks like they're the same length. Yep. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four. And I'll save the middle one for last. Okay, there's four. And five. Okay. So this head should be loose. Okay. This one is a long one. So the one that goes in the middle right here is a longer bolt. Okay. So that's the one that goes in the middle of the head right there. And this should be ready to rock. I think that's all that's holding it on. It's probably just kind of stuck on there. Okay, I got a regular hammer because it's got a little weight to it. Normally you want to use like a rubber mallet.
not going to be able to lift this up without uh, getting the intake manifold out of the way or pulling this. I could probably pull it straight up if I got this intake manifold out of the way and that's probably what I'll end up doing here. As long as this linkage cooperates, should be good to go. So we got a couple. These are already off. <laughs> they were already loose. So we'll go over to the other side here. Loosen this manifold up. Just get it loose so I can get it out of the way. Take this kill wire off the coil. Might have to take it completely up and away. That'll probably give me enough room. Get this coil wire out of the way. Alright. What is holding this thing on? I guess it's, it's the exhaust. It's that exhaust plate down there. I gotta loosen up that other side. So that this exhaust will drop down. Okay, this one inside nut is kind of tough to get to. I got it started out and it was turning pretty good with uh, the 12 millimeter quarter inch ratchet. Okay, so I got this nut off now and the washer. So this whole pipe is going to come down now. Should come off. There we go. So we got the, I lose the exhaust gaskets on here, each side, set this on the floor. Okay, so that head's about ready to pull off. Hey, we've got two exhaust gaskets. On that side, might be two on the other side too. Okay, let's take a look. There we go. And the rods still there. Let's take a look at these rods. Here's the bottom one, top one. I just like seeing if uh, they're the same length. They look to be the exact same length, so I'll just set those down here. Okay. And let's take a look in here. Wow. Yeah, I think that's a blown head gasket or what? Or was it just maybe loose? Okay. I'd say it's definitely blown. All right. Now I'm going to pour some water down in this exhaust because the valve is supposed to be closed, right? So I'm going to pour some water down in there and test and see if this is actually what's leaking here. And I know that this, uh, this valve is crept, or the, uh, the valve, uh, guide. It's kind of crept up in there and it's actually jacked up. It's like sideways. I don't know if you can see that in there. That thing's like cocked to the side. It's going like sideways.
Okay, so I filled up the uh, exhaust port with water just to see how bad this exhaust valve is leaking. The valve is supposed to be closed. The spring on the other side is putting pressure against it to keep it closed. So, and you can see here, okay, I'm wiping it down, wiping down the water. Now watch, it's coming out of there. <clears throat> and if I take my finger on it, I'm trying to twist it, it's not like twisting, it's not turning. It's definitely leaking from out of there. Let me try that on the exhaust valve and see what's going on. So that continually leaks. I'm going to flip this upside down to the other. Okay, I did the same thing. I've got water in the intake port right here full of water. Now I'm seeing if uh, if the intake valve is leaking at all. You wipe it up, or wipe it down, and look. No leakage. So that intake valve is sealing as it should. The exhaust was steadily leaking. So we're going to take a look at this. Let me dump this out. And I'll show you right here what's happening with the uh, valve guide creep. You can see back up in there. You see where that valve guide is sticking just. Let me take a little pointer here, try to point it out. Right there, see that valve guide just kind of protruding down here a little bit? Look on the exhaust side. A little harder to see, a lot harder to see down in there. You get a better shot of this. Uh, without the light, let me get a little light. Okay, if we look down in the exhaust side here now, we'll be able to see see how it's it's up, it's gone up toward the spring. See how that's not there's no nothing for sticking out down there because the valve guide has crept up toward the uh, valve spring end, toward the rocker arm end. And here's the intake again. See how far down that one is. Boy, I'm really having a hard time getting light on that. Okay, that's a better shot. Right there, that's where the intake is sticking right down there. That's the valve guide. And on the exhaust side. It's not sticking down in there. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and take these off. I'm just gonna do the exhaust. Okay, so what I like to do here, I'm just going to bundle up this rag, stick it up underneath this exhaust port to be able to take the, uh, the keepers <clears throat> out of here. So it'll keep the valve in place, and I'll be able to remove these keepers pretty easy sometimes. Just got it. Yep, they'll pop right out. Don't need a puller, nothing like that. Make sure you don't lose them. They're small, these keepers. Okay. Them over here and let's see I got this this little ring thing it looks like it's just broke off so that went down in there I'd have to just compare it to the other side and see what's happening so we got the exhaust I'm trying to keep this all together here stacking it up okay we get the intake off I will just compare, all right, one side to the other. There's one. Hopefully, you don't lose this other one. Get it out of there. There we go. There we go. It's in there somewhere. Okay, there's one and two down there somewhere. not lose it okay so keep her out 
There it is. Okay. Intake valve coming out. Let's take a look at the margin on this. It looks pretty good. It's not looking bad at all. That's the intake valve. And let's compare here. Look at, see what's missing, what's screwed up. Okay. So got the exhaust valve right there. Let's kind of tap this out. It's pulling right out. And if we look, look at the exhaust <clears throat> margin, like there is none. Try to get this in focus. So we don't even have like a little shiny margin on here like we did on the intake valve. See if I can get this focused better. Sure don't want to focus. Get over here away from this head. There we go. So there's the exhaust. Well, the focusing just isn't working today. Not much of a margin at all. Or a ceiling surface compared to the intake valve. Again, you can see a definite, like where it seals. We're going to lap both of these valves to get them doing better, but this thing used to focus pretty good. Now it's not really focusing much. So intake looks much better than the exhaust. Now let's take a look at this. What are we going to do with this? So I got this piece that goes down over here somehow. Kind of fits over that, I guess. What is that? Let me see if this exhaust valve.
got this gasket off of here and it was pretty blown I'll show you the the block here in a minute and gotta get a new one of those tomorrow now this right here I lapped both of the valves just the lapping compound it probably would have been good to cut new seats on these things but I actually got it lapped down enough to where and I got to take some soap and water I'm gonna get some dawn on here and I'm also gonna knock off this uh, carbon but see I got a good I got a good uh, mating surface on that against the exhaust seat that is watertight now and this uh, this is moving nice and easy back and forth it'll open and close real good did the same thing on the intake valve so I'm gonna kind of decarbon this stuff the valves the intake valve kind of sucks too it's uh, it's got a lot of carbon buildup on it now I'm gonna do that and show you how I get these back in So that's some really hard stuff on there. This is the intake valve. Weird.
just want to be
Hey, what's going on? Oh, an allergic reaction is something I had really bad highs earlier. But not anymore? At the pool. Well, I took a Benadryl, but like I couldn't stop itching my skin. Huh. And like, look at my leg. Oh my gosh, it what happened? Really Where? Bad. What and happened? On, I don't know. And then all on my arms. <coughs> Where were you? At the pool. The indoor pool. And I'm not really like allergic to much. So I don't know. I just watched the video. <laughs> but it was like my whole body. And it was like itchy bad. Then I took a Benadryl and I got real tired. You were only at the pool? Yeah. Happy sun at the pool? Yeah. But I don't know what. I've never had that happen to me. Were you around chemicals? No. At all? Nope. That's just really strange. It's and going it was down. Like and you took a Benadryl? Yeah, it was were really you scared. Bad. No. <laughs> I wasn't even going to take it. But then Paige, the girl I was with, had texted Lauren and Lauren had brought it in. She had some. And That's Lauren's good. freaking out. But it was like big, works, and I huh? couldn't stop itching it. Really? Yeah, but I got so tired. I didn't think I was going to get tired from the Benadryl. Oh, yeah. How long ago was that? I took it. Like an hour ago. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm done. Jeez, that's so weird. Yeah. It's never happened before? No, I don't get hives. Oh, but it's like everywhere. But I was itching everywhere, so... Mm-hmm. Probably didn't help. Oh, you've been gone for a while, huh? Yeah. Making money. Making money, huh? <clears throat> yeah, how was the music under the stars? Uh, I mean, it was uh, the fabulous Motown <coughs> Review. They're the oh. biggest Motown top 40 in the country. Oh. They put on a good show. The most people I've ever seen dancing out there. Dang, that's cool. So. Nice. Yeah, they had five food trucks out there. Cool. Yeah. So Did you get that mama's chicken or whatever? They, that was not there. Okay. They had uh, Mayana Mexican. They had a snow cone booth. <laughs> They had a uh, some guy was selling chicken. Like he had them in these, like little those serving uh, tin things with oh. the lids. You know, where it was you know already cooked and heated, and he was just, he would take them out, I guess, or kept them. And then he also had like homemade jar pickles. You know. <laughs> As that one guy, and then uh, they had man meats, and uh, then they had a taco. Oh, that was the Mayana, Mayana, the Mayana thing, the man meat, the snow cone, the guy with the chicken, and they had a uh, funnel cake uh. truck thing. I wanted one. It was thirteen bucks. Oh, uh, for a funnel. For a little funnel cake. I didn't even know it was that big. I just saw the price. I was like, uh. and I didn't even see anybody with it. The line was. The line was kind of long. Yeah, I guess people were getting it. Big crowd. Big crowd. Wow. A lot more black people. Hmm. And we were, yeah, we sat next to the, I heard, Rich! And so, we uh, went and talked to them for a little bit. Cool. Ended up sitting by them, but we weren't, like, hanging out. We were just, we talked for a while, and then we moved over from our chairs just to talk to them, and then some ladies came in and parked their chairs right in front of ours. And Rob's like, well... If you want to move, man, you can come over here or sit behind us if you can't see. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Dang. It's cool. Yeah. I, got, I guess they got uh, Jordan going to CBC. Yeah. He's like, oh, that's new for us. You know, we don't know about this uh, parochial school stuff. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I asked him if he had any more dreams of mayor. And then I told him, I know two people that might be good. And I'm like, there's one over there. That's the floor some walking lady, Kathy. <laughs> and uh and Karina. So they kinda of laughed, they're like, oh, yeah. shake my head. <laughs> yeah, I like Kathy, she's cool. We talk all the time. Do you? Okay. Yeah, she was waving at us, but that's while while we're talking to the Parsons. Dang, nice. Yeah, and we're 
That's her section, right over there, where <laughs> by where we sit, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she sits over there. So, cool. oh man, big big engine work right here. It's just about just about done. Uh, last, I mean, it's been here before, but it's something different. So I had to take both of these heads off, and then put new gaskets, uh, head gaskets. They had. Uh, I got this all on video.
Hmm. <laughs> 